Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos, but I also do others like this schedule like a boss video you're about to see here. please consider subscribing. I'm uploading a video every single day in the month of January, maybe February. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Um, but mostly I do budgeting videos, but I also do a lot of plan with me's and scheduling and just like this video that you're going to see. So this is the one where I get into detail and I write down my plans uh, by the half hour increments. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm using my Disney version of a Happy Planner Classic vertical lined layout. I like this planner more every single time I use it. I just think it's really, really cute. So like I said, I, I never usually gravitate toward specifically looking for Disney products, um, but this one is super cute, especially with all the flowers and everything. So I've got my pens ready to go. I'm trying to color code as well as time block, and I'm holding my pens, a lot of my frequently used ones, in my Alfred Hitchcock uh, little it's like a pen bag makeup bag whatever you want to call it um, you could use it for anything but my friend Esther Luca she has a channel on YouTube um, she made this and she does such a great job but I'm a huge Hitchcock fan and when I saw this I was like you're kidding me I was I've had it for years and I love it so much still using it still going strong so let's tune let's tune let's turn to this week's layout and if you remember a couple weeks ago and things like this this is what my schedule ended up looking like I put my video uploads up here so I'm trying to stick to my content planner which not only has a plan to upload a video every day but a specific type of video so I'm trying to do like uh, meal plan with me is on Sundays, regular plan with me on Monday, the schedule like a boss on Tuesday. I'm peppering in tons of budgeting videos because I have a lot going on with our budget right now. So I'm doing as much as possible sticking to the subject matter, but sometimes I'm just like shifting things around a little bit. But moral of the story is I'm still getting all the subject matter into the same week, whether I do seven days or seven videos for one of every day or if I do eight to nine videos so that's what I'm looking at right now just because I have so much time sensitive stuff to put out there like if I don't do it now it'll almost seem stale if I wait for it like you know oh I'll wait for this till February no I gotta do first it now. what I do is I put video upload I want to make sure that I capture this it's a big part of my day and the reason why um, YouTube and uploading videos is such a big part of my days uh, recently, especially with this um, one video a day challenge, is because I not only have to film, but I have to create what I'm doing. I, I don't just do the filming. I also do all the layouts or I have to go to the bank to get cash. And there's a lot of like steps to the videos. As you know, if you are a video creator, um, you know that there's, you know, a lock that goes into it. And then when I'm done, I have to create thumbnails and edit the videos as much as possible, especially uh, lately I'm trying to edit out when I say things like, but, so, you know, <laughs> like all the sentence fillers because nobody wants to listen to those over and over and over. So I'm trying to do my best to take some of those out so I don't irritate anybody too bad. Monday, we do a plan with me. That works out really well because it's at the beginning of the week. So I think that is... Um, a good place to start. Also, on Monday, there was a budget with me. I don't typically do two videos a day. Sometimes if I have something that's timely and I wanna get it uploaded at a certain point so I can continue the story or the series, you know, and go on from there, I try to get things up just when it makes sense. Today is going to be a schedule like a boss. Well, on Wednesdays, I typically do goals, budget, things like that, that um, whatever makes the most sense. And sometimes a video like where am I at with my sinking fund also falls in line with goals because sinking funds to me do represent goals because I'm saving for a specific subject or, you know, a specific item. And I'll just show you, I finally fit my cash envelopes into this binder that I picked up from Amazon. 
and they're working really well. I just hole punch them myself, but this is my organization that I have going on right now, and I hope it doesn't get um, to the point where this magnet isn't working because the magnet is very sensitive and temperamental. Um, on Thursdays, I do a bullet journal with me because I'm also using a bullet journal, and I've had it for a while, the particular notebook that I'm using. I like using that just because it holds a lot of my hand-drawn trackers. I just like using that system. I think it's very satisfying. I like going in and coloring in the little squares or the blocks, whatever it might be. It makes me feel very productive to use a bullet journal. And then on Fridays, it's always budget with me. And typically, if I have a payday, we'll go over paychecks, or we'll do some cash envelope stuffing for variable expenses for the week. Even if I don't have a payday, I still need to do that. So let's say I get paid every other week and my husband has some different paydays all throughout the month. He gets paid in different ways. Say we don't have a payday this week. I have to plan for that the payday before so I have enough budget to cover grocery spending for Sunday and whatever else I have going on. Plus, we also pay our fixed expenses, which are our utilities and our regular bills, mortgage, cars, all that kind of stuff. We pay that a month in advance. So I have to make sure that all of February's bills are taken care of before February 1st. I have to do that in the month of January. That's how that's how we do it. And then Saturday sometimes is budget talk and sometimes it could be a vlog. I'm thinking about doing my grocery hauls because I haven't done grocery hauls or grocery shopping videos. And I think I'd like to do that. And then Sunday is going to be meal plan with me. And I also have some plans to show you guys dinners, whether we make them at home or whether we have them out because we do eat out. I'm, you know, I'm just real with you guys. I'm not going to say, oh, we're perfect and we cook every single night and we are so frugal and whatever. So if we go out, I also thought it would be interesting to show you guys, here's my dinner. Here's how much I paid for it and kind of see what kind of value depending on where we went. Typically, we go to a diner that's very close to our house. And when we do that, it's much less expensive than if we go to a nicer restaurant. Not that it's not nice there, but it's just less expensive for us because their prices are just crazy cheap. And a lot of times we can't make it home for two people what it costs us to eat the same meal at this particular diner. So that's kind of our go-to place. I don't know, maybe you guys have a go-to place also where you know you're gonna get good value for your money. But I thought that would be interesting to show you and also the meals we make at home. I wanna break them down. Guys, it's so funny. I even broke down um, the one we had uh, tonight with the cost of the paper plate. <laughs> I took the total cost of the pack of plates, I divided by how many were inside, I added the tax, and I'm like, here's how much this paper plate cost. Because it's, everything adds up, you know, all pennies add up, they just do. Let's get to business first. Monday was Martin Luther King Day, and then on Tuesday is a vacation day, and we got snowed in. And when I say we got snowed in, I'm not even joking. We got more than a foot of snow, 15 inches I think. And we ended up having to have somebody come out and plow our driveway because our snowblower did not work <clears throat> for whatever reason. We just, uh, we had a time of it. So we ended up being fortunate enough to find somebody like a local person who was just like taking cash. Thank God he was able to help. It turns out he is one of our neighbors. Well, he lives in the same neighborhood. We don't live on the same street. Close enough. I'm just plugging in my work hours for the week. Typically I work Monday through Friday, eight to four. Sometimes I do like a seven to four if I want to take a lunch hour during the day, but mm, it doesn't happen that often because I prefer to go in later <clears throat> and just work through my lunch. 10 a.m. I'm going to take a break. It's just a 15 minute break, but if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have a 15 minute a day reading challenge and I've been using my 15 minute breaks specifically to read my book and I think that it works out perfectly because then I'm not like sitting at home and it's 8 30 at night and I'm like oh my gosh I never read today and I don't feel like it now and I'm watching tv and whatever I've already done my reading but sometimes it could be eight o'clock at night and I just feel like reading because I think the more you read the more you want to read I don't know at least that's the way it is for me 
you get kind of sucked into your book. So I'm taking my breaks at 10 and 2 just because that feels like the best time except Wednesday. We have a team meeting at 10 and so I will not be able to take my break at 10. So I'm probably going to take it about 1130. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I don't want to take it too early because if I take it too early, then it'll feel like, you know, a longer day. And then I'll have a break right after that at two. The only thing we're not supposed to do is take both of our breaks together. So you have like a straight half hour. You just kind of figure it in your day <clears throat> and just make it work. I have to do some design work on my own. I'm learning some new things at work. So I'm gonna write that in. And I'm gonna write that in about 12, uh, no, I don't wanna do it at 12. Probably about one o'clock. I'm gonna write design work. Tuesday, bank at 9.30 by 9.30. I'm gonna write this in here. I need to stop at the bank and get some cash. It's 11, I'm meeting my mom for lunch. I'm gonna say it's early lunch. It's not really breakfast by that time for me. So I'm gonna meet her, cause I'm off. And we'll have a nice time. At three o'clock, I am going to get my hair cut because it desperately calls for it. There's a lot of people still snowed in though, so I hope that doesn't get canceled. I don't know. I mean, I guess that could change. I have to call back because I'm going to a different place for my eye appointment. I'm gonna put that here. I called last week and they told me like six months out and I was like, um, have a nice day. I know doctors are busy, but I, to me, that seems... That seems crazy. It's just, I don't know, that's too long. For a regular eye exam? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx at 10 before I see my mom. Unless I talk to her in the morning and she wants to go to TJ Maxx and then I'll go with her. Dinner is going to be at the diner, but since I don't work, we'll probably go around five instead of 4.30. So we'll do that. We usually go out on Tuesdays. It's just kind of our thing and then <clears throat> do I have going out to dinner in red or is that like a personal plan? That's a personal plan. I don't know why I did that in red. Let's go over it in pink just so we can be extra OCD because it makes that big of a difference, right? <laughs> All right. And then Friday, I believe we're going to the same place for fish. We haven't done that in a while. And they have, they, they must have 10 to 12 fish specials for under $10. And it's so, so good. You get like two sides with it. Like you get baked potato or macaroni and cheese or pierogies. <clears throat> they really do it well. Mm. Sorry, I had to take a drink because my mouth is, or my throat is so dry. And I've got to get the humidifier working in here. I keep saying that, but um, I'm not doing it. And then Saturday, I think we're also probably going to get takeout or go out. I don't know. Or we'll eat at home. It's kind of like a flex day where if we have stuff to make, perfect. Uh, you know, sometimes I like rummage through the freezer, you know, and try to use what we have. But also it's a long day because my husband works Saturdays. So if he wants to go out, then we will. going to have breakfast with, or brunch with my mom on su Sunday at 10.30. I like getting together with my mom as much as possible. I wanna start laundry and that's for our lint. Oh my gosh, why am I? Uh, why do I ask the obvious questions? Why am I using that color? I need to use this color for home stuff. So I need to do laundry, but for linens on Sundays. And that's when I change the sheets or that's when I've been doing it. And having a designated day for that is really nice. Um, I'll do the sheets and the towels, whether it's hand towels, kitchen towels, bath towels. Uh, we have some throw rugs, I might do those. So anything that falls into that category, bed sheets, I'll do all that on Sunday. And it's just been working really well. Usually prep dinner about 5.30 on the days my husband's at work. And then we usually eat about 6.30. And I won't be doing that these two days, but I will do it. I'll probably do it about five on Sunday. 
and then we'll probably eat about six. I put dinner in the same color. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so if it's at home, it's in navy blue. And if you're interested, what are you guys having for dinner? Um, you could definitely check out my meal plan with me. I'm really enjoying doing that as I well. I always, well, I've been, I haven't always been such so good about it, but I've been cleaning up immediately following. And I try to also clean as I go. We both do. Like sometimes my husband will cook and we've been trying to, you know, clean as we go. So there's not very much to do. Today was a dinner prep. Dinner was so good. And thank goodness we had planned our meals. Even though my husband got to work, it, there were so many things shut down. I mean, our mall was shut down, restaurants. Like it was constantly all day on like local news channels or local channels. They were constantly giving you like the scroll across the bottom of the screen and um, telling you what was closed now and what went, what closed early and what's closed tomorrow. Thank goodness we had our plan already because I had everything ready to go. And we made um, something called sticky honey chicken. Oh my gosh, so easy, so good. I'll be showing you guys what that looks like too in my weekend video. And if you guys noticed, I plugged in my times before I started this video today. All right, so those are all the dinners. And what else do I have going on? Is that it right now? Oh, where's my orange? So I had a doctor's appointment today and I didn't mention it because, I mean, why would I? <laughs> We're just talking about it now. They actually canceled it. They called. It was a phone number I didn't recognize. So I didn't pick it up. And they canceled it and said that, you know, because of the weather. Um, and did I want to call back and reschedule tomorrow? And um, I don't know if I will. It's a GI doctor, like a stomach doctor. Uh, and I want to write that it was canceled, but I like to keep track of like when those things happen. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm treating myself for a couple different things like I was diagnosed with last year. Like I have chronic duodenitis and gastritis. I didn't even know what those two things were, but duodenitis is like, um, they show you pictures when you get an endoscopy. It looks like a razor burn in your stomach. So it's ulcers or it's ulcerated and an ulcer also, an ulcer also. And gastritis, which I didn't even know what that was either. I mean, I've heard of it, but I learned that gastritis is um, inflammation of the lining of your stomach. And since I had biopsies, because they always biopsy you, you know, to see if you don't have any cancer or anything like that. Thank God I did not. But um, they can tell if it's chronic or if it's acute. If it's acute, they can usually treat you with certain acid blockers and sometimes antibiotics. Um, but if it's chronic, it's a lot more difficult to clear up, um, if you can never clear it up. And so I got diagnosed with chronic both. I was in the emergency room last year. It caused me so much depression. Oh my gosh. I had seen, I'm not I'm not kidding you guys, seven different doctors between me having a doctor, switching our family doctor, seeing a physician's assistant, being seen at the emergency room, being seen by a GI doctor. Then I was referred to another GI doctor. Then I had a telephone consult with a GI doctor at the Cleveland Clinic. It was absolutely unbelievable. I'm still dealing with it. I'm still taking medications. So this one was the um, second one I was referred to. And she was really like, oh, I think it's just like unspecified abdominal wall pain. That's why it's not going away. Like she tried to say it's because I have a bad back and I, I'm feeling my bad back in my stomach. And I'm like, what? Ugh, don't even get me started. Because you see what happens? I will talk ad nauseum about doctors and my experiences. I'm very disappointed. I'm still dealing with horrific stomach pain sometimes. And if you're wondering, I'm writing steroid day three. I have been so good. God bless. Uh, it's all thanks to God. Um, with my asthma over the past, I would say, eight to nine months. And I am also taking Claritin and Flonase every day. And sometimes I'll take Advil, cold, and sinus. But earlier last weekend, I was really struggling. And my chest just felt so tight. 
and I got nervous and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope, you know, I don't want to have COVID. And then I thought, well, I don't want to have anything because in 2019, I was hospitalized with an acute asthma attack that lasted over a week. And I was on IV steroids. I was on IV antibiotics. I was on breathing treatments four times a day. They almost put me on oxygen. I had Guys, I had the common cold. I had rhinovirus and something called enterovirus at the same time. They swabbed me up the nose. This is pre-COVID and um, it took me down. And so I've always been like so scared whenever I feel something, my chest or like my breathing gets tight because you just never know. So I don't know. I just get very paranoid. So I started a steroid pack. It's just five pills, 20 milligrams a day of prednisone. And then it's a five day thing. So that'll end on Wednesday. I'm writing that in orange because that seems to be the color I chose for doctor's appointments. And I downloaded new music last week and I promptly got flagged and I downloaded it. I think I see. I don't know because I, I synced my phone. I don't want to say sunk. I sunk my phone. I don't even know what to say at this point, but I let my phone sync with my old laptop and I think it had other music that was maybe illegal for me to use because it was either copyright infringement or royalty. I, I don't know, one of those two. So I was like, I don't know what music is legal. I got so frustrated. So I was like, you know what? I'm starting Clean Slate and I need to redo that. Do I have any other things that I need to plug in? Cause this might be it. I do have to film. Oh, I wanna write down that we had snowplow guy come today i like to also put things on here almost in a back planning style and just to kind of archive some things that had happened i like that so today was a film day well i filmed probably around 8 30 again i think it was around 11 tonight Tomorrow, I don't think I'll be doing any filming because I've really, really been catching up. It's not just three videos. I'm like filming like crazy. Thursday, I know that I will film, let's put 7.30. And then that will be for Friday. And Friday, I will probably edit and possibly film if I need to. Saturday, I will definitely film however long. I just brought an arrow. And then at Saturday, Aaron's. I'll have um, lunch with my mom. I like to get together with her two, three times a week at least. And she just lives two minutes from me. Dinner out. And I have a couple cleaning things to do, which is Navy cleaning bathrooms. I specifically write bathrooms just so I don't let them fall by their wayside. Other cleaning... Like, I'm just going to put miscellaneous cleaning. It could be bedrooms, it could be dusting, all kinds of stuff like that. And then at three, I'm going to clean the downstairs. That's like my bulk day for cleaning. The so downstairs, I'll do anything that needs done in the kitchen. We do the floors every single day, and I told you guys why. It's because we have three pugs who shed like crazy. And I'll dust, sweep, all that kind of stuff. And that is the beginnings of the week. So the reason why I think Schedule Like a Boss is such an appropriate and fitting name is because this is <clears throat> a very detailed and structured outline for the week. And um, it doesn't leave a lot of room for missing or catching up on things. Like, you know, if, if for instance, I miss any of these things, I have to push them back and I have to make sure I have room to, to juggle and to shift things around. But yeah, I, I think this is probably one of the strongest tools that I've been using since the beginning of this year to keep me on track and to actually get things done and not put them off or say, you know what, I'll do that on the weekend. And then all of a sudden it's Saturday and I have everything to do that I never got done during the week. So I'm trying to avoid situations like that, but that's what it is. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is long. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoy long videos or, you know, you probably check out if you don't after a while. 
But um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, like I said, I would love if you stuck around and did so. For those of you who are checking in with me on my daily videos this month, thank you so much. Your support means so much to me. I, I'm being so sincere and genuine right now when I say that. And I love reading your comments. And um, yeah, I just really appreciate it. So I hope that you continue to have a great week. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.